Turning our attention back to tropical storm Hillary that has made a big impact down in the Palm Springs area, shutting down the east west artery between Palm Springs and Blythe. Let's bring in Scripps meteorologist Scott Withers standing by live on Interstate 10 in the area with what has happened down there. Scott. Y yep. Yeah, Mike, take a look behind me here. This is the Interstate 10. It is heading westbound. It has not moved in at least three hours, likely longer. There's actually an ambulance stuck back in there with a patient inside. They say the patient's okay, but it is not moving at all. I'll show you why. This is all because of Hillary coming through. Look, this is the eastbound lanes. If I didn't tell you that you'd think that was a river, it is rushing down here. We got some semis trapped in it as well. Underneath that water, thick layer of mud, and all the way down, you can see it kind of goes off, but then the water and mud come back on. This is a mess out here, and it's all because Palm Springs got almost a year's worth of rain in just one day. Now, this is the interstate. The good news is the downtown areas, those uh, river, uh, those uh, streets did get some water, came up a little bit, but they've receded, so no major flooding in downtown Palm Springs. But even just getting around most of Southern California is going to be difficult here, Mike. And do not, if you are heading this way, don't take the I-10. Find a different way, Mike. All right, there you go, Scott Withers reporting from Palm Springs. It is a mess in yeah. many areas. As, as advertised, yeah. everyone, Coachella Valley was positioned to see the bulk of the system, and it did. Okay.